and like I know what it means when one day your life is fine and then the next day it's not. I knew that I had a stroke, but I, I, I didn't know what that meant. My arm wouldn't work, my leg wouldn't work. I wanted to call Peter um, to help me. I realized that I couldn't say his name. About nine months after the stroke, I came home from work and I took one look at her and realized that she was in it. And I'm not talking about, oh, I'm bummed out, but real depression. The way I felt was just trapped in my body. I was trapped and I was alone and I was scared. And I couldn't have any option. I was like, forget it, I'm out, you know? This is Sonia's brain two years after her stroke, before the transplant. Sonia was two years out from her stroke, uh, and she had severe problems in terms of uh, motor function, her strength. She could not uh, move her right arm. She had severe difficulty walking. Uh, she had uh, problems communicating. That day was amazing in pretty much the full spectrum of the word that the word amazing could possibly cover. On the day of surgery, we put a stereotactic frame on and that is like a GPS system of the brain. It was an experience I couldn't have imagined. I thought I could, I was wrong. Seeing this halo with actual screws into her skull. We're navigating through the brain with a precision that is sub-millimeter so we can put the cells precisely where we want in the brain using this technique. This is the stroke, this deep stroke here is what we targeted with the stem cells and we transplanted the cells uh, just around the stroke in this region here. Can you move it to the side? Pat, one of the people that worked on the study, she leaned over to me, she's like, are you seeing this? I'm like, yeah, I know. Okay, it's not just me, right? No, this is incredible. Her voice was stronger, it was louder. We were just dumbfounded. And I remember I started crying, and I was like, you know, I was like, okay, you know, I don't know. I know it's gonna be a long recovery, but I can do this. Patients like Sonia give us great hope that we'll be able to resurrect function, uh, repair tissue in chronic stroke patients like her. The more people who know her story and know how far she's come, people who have had strokes uh, need to know that because it's available for them too. It's gotten better. It's, it's, only, it's getting to get better. And it, it really, Lucian, I think, is a big part of that. Now that I have a baby, I'm working, you know, I'm every day, there's therapy, you know, like all the time. So it, it really helps. My name is Sonia Coons and adult stem cells saved my life.